<laughs> Good morning friends, happy Thursday and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. Obviously, you've read the title, this is a vlog so spend a few days with me. Um, my mum is coming tomorrow and I'm so excited but other than that, we're, we're chilling. So today we're going to head to the gym and then obviously spend the day together. And we'll go from there. So, buckle on in. Thanks for being here. Buckle Blake on. says hi. Hi. Vibes are high. Vibes. It's 5.30 in the morning. Oh, I'm wearing shorts without tan on. I'd like everyone to say they're proud of me. Three, two, one. Emma, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. See you at the gym. All these money. All these nuts. Shit's so good. I'm gonna go to... that a session with four exercises three legs two upper body exercise takes me over an hour to complete then I did obviously cardio so I was there for like two hours loved every minute of it because we're frothing the gym at the moment but I don't understand how it takes me so long um but anyways we have no food in the house like absolutely none so i'm just gonna quickly head to woolies and do the groceries for the week because obviously mom's here on the weekend and don't really want to do those while she's here so we'll do them now because it works out that we have no food so let's go grocery. now i never do the groceries but if there's one thing about me when i'm doing the groceries we're going in with airpods and we are putting our watch in our sock so we count all the steps Blake usually does our groceries every week because he's the MVP, but he's at work. still it's literally the best obviously i've worked with them in the past and you can use my code but i love planning my movement out in this thing it literally just helps me brain dump my movement for the week what's going on and where i'm at and we're spicing things up in terms of this build phase and i always take my training very seriously but it's time to kind of turn it up a freaking notch we've got big plans we want to achieve big goals and we're gonna work fucking hard so even just like putting it in my calendar but then also writing about my movement in here i've noticed make such a big difference and even just like ticking off each day and writing it down can just be like okay i did this well could have done this better this way we can improve type of thing before the end of every week i will write down like what i do sometimes i do it in advance sometimes i do it like at the end or in this case midweek just whenever i kind of remember but then it's just like a bit of a reflection on like how i recovered if i went well like this morning legs felt unreal and it was because i had a really short run yesterday whereas usually i do a long run yesterday and my legs are like obviously fatigued coming today so felt unreal and then this is stuff that i can like learn coming into the next few months and weeks how to get the most out of my training personally mm. freaking love a coffee but got the walking pad on get some steps going spotify's on can't play that because i'll get copyrighted but the vibes are high guys happy freaking thursday <laughs> I wouldn't say our house is tiny, but it is quite small. 
in size and mum is coming to stay this weekend and we've never had a like spare bed or spare bedroom in this house just because I've got my office, Blake's got his office, there's pretty much only room for like a desk and not much else. So a while ago we bought like a koala lounge that turns into a bed and it's not too bad in terms of like comfort and because mum's coming we've got to set it up and it's the first time that it's like laid out and it's honestly quite tiny in here but let's make it and it's enough for a night. So mum, love you, hope you don't mind, there's not much room in here for anything else. You're not going to be doing cartwheels in here. Hi. So these are double sheets that I've bought and washed. Ada, get off. Off. <laughs> she thinks it's a game. So I'm going to assume it's about the size of a double bed. Jump off. Get off. Must be a bit bigger than a double bed because this shit is bloody tight. She's trying to eat the sheet. <laughs> that was a mission, but we got there. Oh my god, stop it. Guys, Blake says hello. I'm gonna I'm feeling a bit adventurous. No, I'm kidding. I'm changing up my foods a little bit and I've been craving wraps. So we're having wraps for lunch, which is not exciting for most, but exciting for someone who eats the same stuff every single day and is lazy. <laughs> All my ingredients. I pre-cooked some chicken yesterday. It's just chicken breast. So I'll weigh that and heat it up. I am going to do chicken tenders with it next week, which is even more fun. I just didn't have the calories for tenders today because this meal isn't supposed to start until the weekend. But I just kept thinking about the wraps and then I was like, I really want them now. So we work them into breakfast on a wrap. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to close these wraps and that's okay because I'm bad at planning. I'm going to cut my carrots up. That's what we have so far. Um, I was going to get cherry tomatoes, but then I was like, I might just get whole tomatoes. Defetto. Chicken. Oh, I've got to add my onion. at lunch and oh this looks so good i'll put the macros on the screen but guys keep your nutrition simple high protein decent fat good carbs got a whole meal wrap veg it's like your perfect place don't let muscle cramps hold you back try black more super magnesium oh a black coffee most people probably look forward to massages but I literally need to take Panadol and Nurofen prior to going for my massage. <sighs> so bloody painful, but I guess that's their job and that's what they do. But we're on route to get massage. I literally just had a midday shower and I feel like a brand new person. I've had a whole new lease of life. I don't know what's hit me, but I feel like I could do so many things right now. Maybe I should just have midday showers more often. But anyways, let's go massage. I want to join Parliament oh. in like the, the sector. Guys, that fucked me up. That was royally cooked. Like, holy shit. I'm going over the gutter, guys. Oopsies. We went over the cutter. Um, oh my god, that was cooked. My body is like screaming in not the best ways, but it's done, it's dusted, and now we're gonna go home and treat myself to a snack because I'm starving. You know what would be good right now? Guzman Gomez. Fuck, I want guzzies. So 
only 5 p.m. I can't get guzzies. Not allowing myself to get guzzies. No, no, no. These are out of date by 12th, two days. It's just rice pudding, surely. Girl dies from rice pudding, out of date. No, I'm kidding, surely. Well, I'm eating it anyway. Two days, oh my God. So late the day. And then we've got some apple that I prepared earlier. Very important after massages and stuff like that to hydrate. My hands are oily. Can't open that. Fuck. I sort of quad back. If you struggle to drink water, adding in like a dash of cordial can really spice things up for you i personally don't struggle i just love yummy drinks so let's play the day if this vlog never makes it to surface it's because i've eaten out of date um rice pudding guys we have a few different choices for chocolates We've got Freddo, Boost, Maltese, oh no, Freddo went swimming. Maltesers, Crunchy, Twi Twix. I think I'm gonna do Crunchy. Okay. If you have a Ninja Creamy, you know how freaking loud this is gonna be. Do the light ice it's so loud. I only did the short one because you're proud of me. Perfect. So it goes powdery. Oh, it's still not very good. I think I need a remix. Right. Mm. Now, that's good. Oh, heaps better. Slay the day. That's so much better. Mm. Friday. I haven't said good morning yet, but we spent the morning at the gym, did my check-in with James, went for my run. Honestly, elite. I had the best session and I had a really good run as well. It was just a bit of a flush out run before City to Bay on Sunday. Now I did work, post office, gonna go get petrol, wash the car, and then head down to pick mum up. Might go for a walk down at the beach while I'm waiting because the airport's like near the beach. But Mummy's almost here and I'm so freaking excited. Obviously, wow, that's bad lighting, but obviously I rarely see her because we live in different states. She's in New South Wales still. If you didn't know, I grew up in New South Wales. Um, so my family is all still there and it's just Blake and I here. Like we don't have any family. Um, so yeah, when someone comes and visits, it's just like extra special. So yeah, I'm very excited. Hand cream. Hot girls look after their hands. Yeah, keep going. Well, it's just something that came up for me, so um, I will definitely be working through that. So I just went to Harbour Town with Chloe, and I got a glass house diffuser for the car. Oh 
god. Okay, we're getting there. We're there, guys. Fuck. Oh, pretty. I feel so bougie right now. How does it attach? Okay, we're getting somewhere. There's a clip. Fuck. Beautiful. It annoys me that it isn't centered, but that'll do. Mum's flight lands in 10 minutes, so I might just wait here for 10 and then we'll head on over. Oh, I'm so excited to see her. Hi, I found her. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Peter Alexander and I got Mum and I matching pajamas. That would be nice. And I wanted to get Blake a pair too, but they only had extra large and extra, extra large. And Blake's legs are big, but not that big. Um, so I got these for Mo and I. Obviously, Mo got matching. And then I think I'm gonna be in my 90 era when it gets warmer. Because I got like a t shirt 90 and it's got poodles on it. As if that's not the cutest thing ever. These, this little set was like 75% off or something ridiculous. So I got this for summer because I don't really have any summer pajamas. <laughs> I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And then we got matching. Do you like your matching pajamas, Mum? She can't hear me. Very cute. Very cute. Are you taking the photos? Mm -hmm. Bacon has to be crispier than that. It's gonna be dead. <laughs> it can't be oinky. Call me a chef, guys. Oh, yeah. Do you like it? Is it good hot chocolate? This camera shy now. Hell yeah. So guys, we have just checked into the Stanford at Glenelg because this is where I'm starting my race. Mom's in the room tomorrow. Say hi. And we, of course we need a room tour. Now we're gonna have first impressions of the bathroom together because I actually haven't seen it yet. Usually I'll quickly investigate and then look, but oh no, it's cute. Hello, bathroom, pretty huge, stunning. She come around, got the bed, that is my side. That's mine. Perfect. And then you can see the water. Oh, they've got like little grass pads. We'll ignore that, we'll look at the water over there. Perfect, cute. Now I'm starving, so what's for lunch? Me too. Mum's borrowed my scarf, guys. You're fancy. It's a bit cold in Adelaide. She keeps complaining about how cold it is. I reckon you need it from this side. Is that better? Yeah. The sun has come out. Old mum what a rot is. So we're going to rot. She just flushed the toilet. We're going to rot, scroll TikTok, and not talk for an hour. I'm so excited. But I think we may also go check the spa. We've just booked somewhere chill for dinner as well. So it's three o'clock. Today is flown by. Chill, rot, dinner. But that sun is so bright. Hey, guys. <laughs> Did the funniest thing ever so we booked dinner and then we decided that we didn't want to go to dinner but it was a 50 dollar fee to cancel dinner so i wasn't calling so i made mum call them and i think we got away and didn't have to oh no every time my phone vibrates or my watch vibrates i'm like oh no they've charged me the fee to cancel <laughs> i think i can have a shower now sweet pj's on you know, we could get Guzman Gomez for dinner, Mum. I don't eat that. But you can get it. What do you get? I don't know. I'm yeah. really full. Anyway. Guzman Gomez sounds pretty good. Guys, when we were at the um, shops, I got a um, health shot. But I usually get like the turmeric and orange one. But I accidentally picked up the ginger one. And it's a completely different colour and it looks like literal shit, so let's have it. Mum's drinking wine, guys, so... <laughs> yes. There'll be contrast in this family, isn't there? <laughs> so... <laughs> so I'm like, 
I, I need to film a water bottle up. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to set up my race kit, guys. This is a really weird angle, but if you've watched any of my other vlogs, you would know that I do like the whole race kit layout the night before. So that's just what I'm doing now. I'm kind of lost on how to um do it because this one's not very aesthetic, if you get me. Here she is, my number 50226, 12K. City to Bay. I am trialing the new LSKD set. I haven't worn it yet. Probably a bit risky trying to wear it on race day, but we're not going for PBs or anything, so we should be a okay. So, dinner. I got Subway, Mum got pizza and garlic bread. I'll be having a piece of that because she won't eat it all and it looks so good. But Subway, we've got Italian herbs, chicken, onion, lettuce, carrot tomato. Chef's kiss. Chef's See you in the morning. today so I've got their new shorts on with the pockets and then the bra blue lemon blue lemon socks super boss mum's slim but I'm very jealous <clears throat> I'm supposed to catch the tram down there but I ended up booking an Uber and it looks like it's gonna come. Might just be a bit of traffic, but I booked it for 6.30. I don't have to be there till like 7.30. Sorry, we've got plenty of time. But look, it looks so nice. What I thought happened would happen. The Uber can't get to me because of all the road closures. So I'm running to Coles to meet the Uber. So you can take me. That's my number, guys. <laughs> guys, we have just finished City to Bay. Mum missed me at the finish line. Did not I was there. She was there, but she didn't see me. Um, it was really good. Tegan was a little bit hungover, but we love her for that. Um, so we held a really good pace until like the six minute mark and then it just kind of, no, the 8k mark, then it just went downhill a little bit. But we still finished it, I think, at about a six minute pace, one hour, ten minutes-ish. I'll put it on the screen. Um, it was a really good course. It was super flat and it was like pretty windy and not like too sunny. So it was actually a really good run, but I'm starving now and I'm hoping that Dante's Deli is open and I can get a fat loaded sandwich. And then we're dropping mum at the airport. The view looks so nice today. It looks heaps better than when we got here. <laughs> 